We're here at the Walter Anderson Museum of Art in Ocean Springs, Mississippi to see the new exhibition, Visual Music. This is a full work of paintings by a naturalist artist from South Mississippi, painted on the Gulf Coast, about the Gulf Coast, and, and exhibited exhibit. here on the Gulf Coast as well. Today, John Anderson, his son, is going to take us on a quick tour. He also co-curated the exhibition. It's a very special treat and an awesome exhibit, so come on in and take a look. Hi, John. Hi, Laurie. What are we going to see today? This is an exhibit called Visual Music, and it focuses primarily on the musical aspects of Daddy's work. Hmm. My father frequently wrote about a thing that he called vis visible music or visual music. This is one of those quotations that he wrote in his journal. All movement is to visible music, although few people hear it. It comes from the sun and the wind and a running rabbit and a crowing cock. All together it is part of a great symphony. The longer we listen and the quieter we are, the more we hear and we are part of the music instead of an unwelcome interruption. These paintings, the paintings in this exhibit, emphasize this aspect of Daddy's art. For this exhibit, it's very important to realize that repetition is rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. That's the drum, those are the drum beats in the music. Daddy has used a fluid line to add melody to that structure. Fluid line and color notes come together with the rhythm to create a musical composition. This is more, even more obvious in this other painting that we have. As you can see, this painting also has a very strong rhythmic beat. In this case, the beat is more complex and the fluid melody is woven more intimately into the structure. But the result is very similar. This is a composition of visual music. Now I'd like to show you something else about this exhibit. The evil to the beginning painter is confusion, too many details. As he learns techniques, he forgets his demon and thinks he has defeated him with technique, but he has just given him a hiding place. As you can see from that quotation, Daddy distinguishes very clearly between the role of artistic technique and artistic vision, and he considers artistic vision to be much more important than artistic technique. If you look at this painting, which we've chosen for the beginning of the exhibit, there's no place in this painting for the demon to hide. Another thing that Daddy wrote about art is that art is incredible, not for itself, but in changing the artist's relation to other things, perspective. As you can see from this painting, Daddy was a master of this kind of altered perspective. Here he is looking at a duck in flight from above, as if he were another duck flying above this one. Perhaps he was. Alex? Earlier we were talking about a quotation that Daddy wrote in his journals. Art is incredible, not for itself, but in changing the artist's relation to other things. Perspective. This painting is an example of one of those shifts in perspective. An artist is actually able to move himself from one place to another. He's actually able to take one perspective and then take another one. From here, he's looking at the bird from underneath. In the painting next to it, he's looking at the bird from above. He can shift his perspective from one place to another whenever he wants to. And that's what art does for him. Alex, here's a watercolor in which Daddy does something similar to what he did in that drawing. He's using one bird, several images, of the same bird as it comes up and lands on the beach. He's got a, a seaside rosemary bush in the background. But he's got one bird that comes up and lands on the beach. 
Here, let me show you another painting. This simple drawing is interesting because it's almost like a film strip. As you can see, this is all one bird. Each of these images is the same bird. And these are, these little drawings are like, um, as if you were taking a camera and taking an image here. Click, 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 click. It's the same bird as he flies up, stalls out, and then lands on the beach, all in one image. We're here today with Carolyn Brown, who has recently written a book about Eudora Welty, entitled A Daring Life. Exactly, yes. And Eudora Welty, we're talking about Walter Anderson's artistic or creative vision. Uh, Eudora Welty is also a very good example of this, mm -hmm. so we thought we would talk for a few seconds with Carolyn Brown about <laughs> Eudora Welty's creative vision. Yes. Well, one of the things I like to bring out when I give presentations, or I, and I tried to do in the book, is show that Eudora was not committed to writing only. Uh, she was a very good painter and photographer, and she worked in all three mediums during her youth. It wasn't until she published her first short story that she committed to writing as a career full time. But she was an excellent artist right. as well and photographer. She was she was not she did not have artistic vision because she was a writer. She was a writer because she already had artistic vision. Exactly. And I think um the fact that she was so creative in her youth um proves that point. Yeah, exactly. She I, I loved your book. I enjoyed Thank it very you. much. Thank you very much. Thank you for writing it. Oh. Uh, well, um, we love the museum. We're enjoying being here today. Thank, Thank you. you. Sometimes in his writings, Daddy wrote about the relationship between art and other aspects of life. In one of his journals, he wrote that we all get what we want. Each painter that paints a picture puts into it exactly what he wants. If he fails, it is because he did not want enough. Teach people to want the right things, and they will get them. Teach them to want the wrong things, and they will be ruined. As you can see from this painting, these birds practically leap off the page. There's an aspect of three dimensions to this painting. He got that effect by wanting the right thing. Here's another thing that Daddy wrote about the relationship between artistic vision and artistic technique. Art is a mysterious business which only an artist can fully understand. A man can have years of academic training and be a good draftsman and have perfect materials, nude bodies and rearing horses and plenty of time to do them in and still not realize a savage or a child will realize what the man with perfect opportunity has failed to do. As you can see, Daddy had rearing horses and wonderful training and plenty of time to do them in, but he also was able to realize Right now, at the Walter Anderson Museum of Art, there are more pieces hanging by Walter Anderson than ever before in the history of the museum. Visual music will hang till the end of 2013. Try not to miss it.